Fellow St. Lucians, once again we are brought to a close one year and ushered in a new year. As Commissioner of Police, it has been an honor to serve you and to lead the Royal St. Lucia Police Force in its quest to help make this country a safer place for all. The successes that we have realized throughout the past year would not have been possible without your help and support. This is a true manifestation of community policing. There were many hurdles to overcome during 2017. The men and women of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force must be commended for their resilience, commitment and dedication to duty, despite the many challenges. As we unpack upon the task of confronting the challenges of a new year, let us reflect on 2017. Whereas it appeared that crime decreased generally, there were a record 56 homicides for 2017. This is of grave concern to the Royal Central Police Force. Notwithstanding this, we will continue to be steadfast and resolute in protecting citizens and all visitors to our shore. The force will continue to use modern strategies including technology and intelligence driven policing to fight crime and social disorder in St. Lucia. During the Police Week of Activities 2017, many communities were visited and several activities organized in collaboration with communities. Some of those activities included a church parade, sporting events, and boat rides. Visits were made to sick and shut-in retired police officers, during which food hampers were distributed. There was also an officer's ball and awards, during which both retired police and fire officers were recognized for their outstanding service to the nation. There were town hall meetings conducted in Babuno, Jacques Mel, and Francis Jacques Souffre. We value these town hall meetings as they provide the executive of the Royal Central Police Force and locally based officers with an opportunity to interact with community members. They also present an opportunity for both the police and members of the public to express their concerns and make recommendations aimed at improving the quality of service that we provide. Our sister island of Dominica received assistance from the Royal Central Police Force following the devastation caused by the, to the island by Hurricane Maria. During my visit to Dominica, members of the Royal Central Police Force came in for high praise from the government of the Commonwealth of Dominica, the Chief of Police, and the citizens for the level of dedication and professionalism displayed while stationed in Dominica. Our officers have been involved in the distribution of much needed aid and have helped stem the looting and restoration of law and order on the island. Until their departure, they served diligently and in high spirits, despite the extremely challenging working conditions, even whilst away from their families and loved ones, especially during the Christmas holiday. The efforts of police officers from the Marine Unit, the Special Services Unit, the Police Welfare Association, and other units of the Royal Central Police Force have not gone unnoticed, and I wish to commend them for doing a great job during these trying times. I also wish to thank and commend Assistant Commissioner of Police Dorian O'Brien for agreeing to serve as Commander in Dominica amidst trying times. During the past year, we received training from agencies both within our region and beyond. We are indeed grateful for the support and we look forward to partnering with those governments and agencies in improving the quality of training within the police force. The Royal Central Police Force is grateful to the management of Choice Television for allowing us to host our weekly police report at every Monday during the evening news. Special thanks go out to the press office to the, of the Royal Central Police Force for preparing those reports. We also make the, take the opportunity to thank the management and staff of NBC Television for partnering with the police to broadcast the police show, Police Insight. A big thank you goes out to the host, Corporal Zachary Hippolyte and Sergeant Shervan Matthew, who assisted in his absence. To the many listeners and callers, both here and abroad, your support is appreciated. The success of this program would not have been possible without you. There were three press conferences conducted during the year where crime statistics were presented and major matters addressed. The traffic department continues to provide motor the motoring public with much needed traffic information via the various media outlets. Traffic safety is important and every effort must be made to ensure the public is ever so sensitized. It would be remiss of me if I neglected to mention the support provided throughout the year by the various print and electronic media houses and for the presence at our various activities. I want to continue to encourage a media-friendly environment and transparency at all times. 2017 was a quiet year as it relates to sports because of some key national events. 
This notwithstanding, the police participated in the National Basketball Commercial Competition and made it to the semifinals. We organized the inaugural Randy Abbott Small Golorama, which was born by Potts Police. I must thank Superintendent Ronald Phillip and his team for the foresight and hard work to make this tournament a success. There was also a road relay, which was won by the Boys Training Center. I thank them for the participation. Four police officers were recently selected to be part of the national rugby team, which participated in the recently concluded 2017 World Rugby Competition in Barbados. At this tournament, Human Police Constable Chantal George, John made her debut as World Rugby Level 1 Certified Referee. To those officers, I say well done. Congratulations. During the year, the police successfully policed Asu Square, Soleil, Carnival, and other events with no reports of any serious nature. As we start the new year, we are faced with significant challenges, particularly physical and human resources. Despite these limitations, we will continue to stand resolute in our quest to achieve our goals and objectives. In an effort to focus on our objectives for 2018, I will continue to forge deeper relationships between the police and the public. The responsibility for ensuring a safer and secure St. Lucia is not only that of the police, but also that of every citizen of this country. The police cannot do it alone. This is our country, and we must all play our part. I urge my police officers to act professionally at all times, displaying a high level of discipline and respect for the fundamental rights and freedoms of every citizen. At this juncture, I warn criminal elements and would-be criminals that the police will continue with zero tolerance to crime and social disorder. It is never too late to reflect and to search deep within to find ways to show love, to show compassion, empathy, and respect, not just for individuals, but also for property. I implore you, citizen, to think logically when faced with an adverse situation. Do not feel weak when someone does any wrong to you, and do not strike back physically. You must display your strength by reporting the matter to the police as provided by law to get redress. Taking matters into your own hand, create further problems for the state and for you personally. Always think of the consequences of your actions and people who depend on and expect better of you. Do not allow your emotions to infuse you into becoming criminals. Remember that this is our country, our beautiful Helen of the West. We cannot allow the unsavory action of some persons to hinder or impede the safety and security of our people and our visitors. I will ensure that every effort is made using legal means to apprehend and bring to justice anyone who chooses to break our laws. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force is truly indebted to the government and people of St. Lucia for our various ministries, in particular our parent ministry, for the support despite a challenging economic environment. As Commissioner of Police, I will endeavor to do my best to justify the confidence reposed in me. I call on every St. Lucian to support not only me, but the Royal St. Lucia Police Force in helping to make our country a safer place for all. We need to stand up. We need to stand strong because it is only together we can make a difference. I thank you and may the good Lord richly bless you.